The ZCMI Center Mall was a shopping center in Salt Lake City, Utah that opened in 1975 and closed in 2007. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The 508,000 square foot ZCMI Center opened for business on July 17, 1975. The center was built on the site of the original ZCMI department store. Magnificent new covered shopping mall in downtown Salt Lake City, a virtual American retail revolution and probably the most exciting commercial environment in any American city. That's how the proposed ZCMI Center, a super mall and the largest downtown mall in America at the time, was being built in the early 1970s as demolition began to prepare for that project. The demolition was underway to clear land for the new ZCMI Center, which had spent 10 years in the planning process alone. The $100 million development remade seven acres and about 70% of the block. The project was also called impressive evidence of the vitality and promise of Salt Lake City's downtown business district. Zion Security Corporation, the commercial real estate arm of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, promoted the air-conditioned and covered nature of the $50 million proposed ZCMI Center Mall on an eight-acre site. The largest demolition project in Utah's history involved tearing down the old ZCMI parking terrace to make room for the ZCMI Center that included 150 pounds of gelatine mixed explosives to topple the 300 foot tall smokestack that was on the property. The ZCMI Center was scheduled to open in the fall of 1974 and then delayed to early 1975 but ended up nearly a year behind schedule. Contributing to the delay was a 1972 plumber strike. The ZCMI Center encompassed 508,000 leasable square feet and when fully leased featured 63 stores and services. It was connected to a two-level parking plaza situated on top of its two retail levels. Joseph Magnin, the first operational ZCMI Center store, opened its doors on July 17, 1975, with the mall being officially dedicated on August 1st. Tenants included Nobby Shop's Ladies Wear, Lane Bryant, Desiree Book, Walgreens Drug, Copper Rivet Jeans, and GNC. The original ZCMI department store had opened for business on April 1, 1876, when work got underway on the ZCMI Center in July of 1973. The store's cast iron facade was removed, with the rest of the building being demolished. The facade was restored and installed on the front of a new three-level 300,000 square foot ZCMI, which made its debut on September 13, 1976. At the time of its completion, the ZCMI Center was the largest inner-city shopping mall in the United States. The $50 million complex proved so successful that a second downtown shopping mall was built on a 10-acre block directly to the west across South Main Street. In 1984, Joseph Magnet & Company filed for bankruptcy and closed its store. ZCMI Center was given a facelift in 1991. A food court was created in the existing space. 
Center court was remodeled and new flooring installed throughout the complex. In 2001, the ZCMI store closed. In October of 1999, as a result of losses for two consecutive years, along with mounting economic and social pressures, ZCMI was sold to May Department Stores Company and ZCMI operated under its original name. The store would reopen as Meyer and Frank on April 18, 2001. Retail rivals for several years, the ZCMI Center and Crossroads Plaza made a truce of sorts in the late 1990s and began to be marketed as a single entity, the downtown malls. This could have been a fortuitous move, but a major commercial competitor, the Gateway Center, was entering the picture in November of 2001. By this time, the two older malls had passed their prime, what few stores that were still in operation were mostly mom and pop type tenants. A major redevelopment was conceived. In 2006, Meyer and Frank closed. It would reopen as Macy's. On October 3, 2006, the LDS Church announced redevelopment plans for the ZCMI Center and the Crossroads Plaza Malls as part of the $1 billion redevelopment plan known as the City Creek Center. The plan called for a demolition of the ZCMI Center Mall and the Crossroads Plaza Mall. On February 3, 2007, Macy's at the ZCMI Center closed. The circa 1876 cast iron facade of the ZCMI store would be restored as it had been during the mid-1970s. Meanwhile, the final inline stores in operation at the ZCMI Center, Mr. Mac Minswear and Desiree Book, closed. By mid-2007, the wrecking ball was tearing away at the ZCMI Center. The underground parking garage at City Creek Center was completed in June of 2011 with an official grand opening of the $1.5 billion complex held on March 22, 2012. The 136-year-old cast iron ZCMI facade had been installed on the front of the new three-level 150,000 square foot Macy's. A two-level 124,000 Nordstrom's was also anchoring this shopping hub. Charter tenants included Forever 21, Foot Locker, Lush, Express, Yankee Candle Company, 77 Kids by American Eagle, Michael Kors, Cotton On, Love Culture, Tiffany & Company, Pandora, and The Cheesecake Factory. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hotshot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was four, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what do you remember about this mall? Leave a comment or some more details that I may have missed or maybe even a suggestion for a future mall video you would like to see. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions. Thanks for watching.